Okay, let's talk about special functions. And this is an example of a special function. And uh, of course, you know, we want to be familiar with the concept of functions. And now we're going to throw in this twist. Uh, we have something special. And what's special about this function? Well, uh, what's special about it is that we have like a few different things going on here, right? So it's not like a function just like f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, that's an example of a function that you might be familiar with. You got this little f of x and you got this little like rule. Okay, so the uh, situation here is we have f of x, but we have like three different things we can do. All right, so that's what makes this special. And we're going to talk about special functions here. We're going to um, evaluate a couple of different points here. Just really make sure you understand, understand special functions because these are going to uh, come up and algebra, you're definitely gonna see these things, all right? So you need to know about special functions. They're not hard, like at least this, this particular example is not too difficult, but there are other type of special functions that you're going to be uh, learning, okay? Those would include like recursive functions or greatest integer functions. There's a whole bunch of different type of uh, special functions. Just remember when you're studying functions, look, that word, that root word, functions is fun, okay? This is fun stuff. And if you're like, oh, what is this guy talking about? He's way into math, much more than I am. Listen, you got to have a good attitude about this uh, stuff. Or you're going to, you know, the worst that way to learn is to be like, you know, angry at math. Be like, mm, you know, I'm, or, you know, like I hate learning math. Listen, if that's your mental state, you are not going to learn. Okay. So you got to relax and let's just try, let's make the most of it. Okay. And, uh, and this video won't be too long, all right? But I do want to talk about special functions. And if you're uh, not familiar with them or, you know, you've never seen anything like this before, this would be a nice introduction for you. Okay, so before we get into special functions, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Now, what I think makes my program unique is I have a library of 100 plus different math courses. I have all the big courses, college algebra, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and I'm gonna be launching pre-calculus here soon, but I have many specialty courses. So, uh, especially for test preparations, for those people who are like um, test preparation, uh, those people are like taking the SAT, ACT, GED, uh, teacher certification exams, college placement exam, AccuPlacer, or Alex, um, CLEP exams, all those different types of exams. There's a lot of people who are studying math outside of a math course because they have to take some sort of exam for their career, their job, whatever the case is. So I have many, many courses. You can check out my course catalog. Just, again, just follow the link to my site. Also have um, a lot of people's uh, taking math courses independently, like homeschoolers that use my program. Uh, and uh, obviously, I have plenty of people that use my course because they're struggling in their current course. So let's say you're taking college algebra and it's going too fast for you, you need additional assistance, or you're not clicking with your teacher's instruction, uh, you need some options. Well, you know, you can use my program to help you out in that way. Now, one thing you need to be doing for yourself, for sure, if you're a math student, and I assume that you are, if you're watching this video, is you're going to be taking fantastic notes, not good notes, not average notes. You got to be taking great notes. So my golden rule of math, and this is over decades of teaching this subject, is the following. Those students who take great math notes have great math grades. It's almost always true. And the reverse is true. You know, these people that are very sad at the end of the year, you know, typically most of them don't have great notes. Okay. Now there are challenging courses, even when you have good notes, just because maybe the material was coming so fast or your teacher, you just don't understand. Listen, in those cases, you're going to have to do something about your situation. Okay. If you're not understanding your teacher, go find someone you can, you know, understand the topic was. You're going to take an you know, initiative, but more often than not, people who struggle in math, their, their notes are incomplete, you know, et cetera. So what I'm saying is if you put a lot of effort in your notes, you're going to, it's going to, um, really, really, really help you. Okay. Just blame me on this one. Okay. So, but in the meantime, as you're improving in your note taking, you need something to study from. So I offer a uh, detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. Find links to those notes in the description of this video.
Okay, so let's get uh, into special functions. And just remember, when we're talking about functions, they are fun. So we don't need any of these little uh, sad faces. We need some happy faces. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to just uh, evaluate a function, a special function, right? Now, let's go back to this example. Now, let's say I said find f of 3. Okay, what does that mean? All right, so hopefully all of you out there are familiar with basic functions. And if you're not familiar with basic functions, I have tons of videos on my pre-algebra and algebra uh, playlist about functions. Okay, you need to know functions. That's a huge, huge topic in algebra. And uh, there's a lot of specific um, concepts related to functions like domain and range or what is a function. Not everything is a function. What about an inverse function? Uh, you know, what's the domain of a function? I talked about that, you know, uh, you know, like of a particular function. So let's just kind of talk about the basics here, and that is to evaluate a function, all right? Evaluate. So that word is a pretty common value, uh, math word. So evaluate this function for 3. We want to find f of 3. So this means here, you can see I'm replacing this x with a, with a 3, Okay, so if I'm replacing this x with a 3, I'm going to re replace this x with a 3. So this will be 2 times 3 plus 1, and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, and that's 7. So f of 3 is equal to 7. Okay, now, one thing that you should know, all right, about functions, to do a little bonus review, f of x is the same thing as the variable y. Okay, so... Uh, if we were making a little table here, a little x, y table, well, what we just did here is, well, hey, when x was 3, y was 7, or f of x, okay? So meaning that the point, this is a point, this little table here is a point, an x, y point. So the point 3, 7 is on this uh, graph, okay, is on this function. So these are the basics about functions that you should, you know, hopefully kind of know. And then when you get into special functions, you know, we start taking this into, um, you know, different type of unique situations. Um, classic special functions are like recursive functions, grace integer functions, and uh, piecewise uh, functions. And that's kind of what we're talking about here, okay? So let's get into uh, this here. This is kind of uh, a piecewise function because we have different pieces to this function, okay? So we have a function, but we're like, well, what do we do here? Do, when I plug in a number, do I do this, do I do this, or do, do I do this? Well, it all depends, okay? Because these parts right here are going to tell us what to do, okay? What rule to apply, and hopefully it's fairly intuitive, okay? Now let's just think about it. So if I want to find f of 1, I'm saying evaluate this function for 1, okay? So x is equal to 1. So what should I do? Well, we're going to have to go over here and look at my little, um, uh, basically my conditions, my rules. Okay, this thing is going to tell me if x is less than negative 3, if x is less than negative 3, I do this. Okay, if x is greater than 5, I do this. If x is 1, all right, okay, or x's are greater than or equal to negative 3 or less than or equal to uh, negative 3, I do this, okay, or actually this, right? So you can kind of think of the uh, this condition would be like, like so. You can look at it like on a number line. So we have uh, negative 3, and then we have 5, okay? So uh, things that are greater than 5, we kind of put that right there. Uh, you're going to do this, right? You're going to do uh, square root of x plus 1. Now, if it's between negative 3 and 5, including those points, okay, including uh, uh, the points negative 3 and 5, you're going to do x squared. And if it's less than negative 3, you're going to do this guy, x minus 3. Of course, we're trying to find f of 1, and 1 falls in this interval right here. So I'm going to be doing the x squared rule, all right? So uh, knowing that, let me go erase this. Effectively... Now for f of 1, you're basically doing uh, this function, f of x is equal to x squared, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing, and it's very, very simple. So we just plug in 1 squared, 1 squared is 1. So 
very easy, you know, these uh, piecewise uh, functions. It looks confusing because there's these conditions, you know, at first, you know, and this is the thing in math, a lot of things that look intimidating, you know, they look intimidating because you, you've never seen them, you know, you, no one's ever explained this to you. So don't panic, right? When you, when you see something that you're unfamiliar with, just be like, okay, let me find a teacher that I like and understand. Hopefully that would be me or someone else and be like, can you give me an explanation? Can I learn this? Oh, can let me write this down in my notes? Da, 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 da. Okay, now I understand. Okay, and that's the beginning of this stuff. So when it comes to piecewise uh, functions, that's a special function. You know, um, you know, this is the beginning of it. Of course, we can make this much more complicated, and I could tell you to graph this. So that would be like, graph this? What are you talking about? You know, most of you would be like, what are you talking about, graph? No, 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 I can't do that. Yes, you can do that, and you're going to have to do that as well, but that's for a different video. All right, so that, again, uh, this is just a basic introduction to special uh, functions. Remember, functions are fun, as we kind of illustrated in this video. Now, um, you want to continue on. Uh, you need to learn everything you possibly can about functions. The more you know about functions, the better off you're going to be in any level of mathematics, okay? So... Where can you learn about functions? Well, I have tons of videos on functions, what they are, how to find the domain range, uh, inverse functions, composite functions, et cetera, et cetera. This is like non-negotiable, like, like you know, not an optional thing. If you want to be successful in algebra and beyond, you have to know everything about uh, functions, right? As much as you possibly can, and they're not difficult, but like anything, you know, it's like steps you got to climb, right? Before you can understand the advanced stuff, you got to understand the basic stuff, and then this stuff, and then this stuff, and it builds on itself, right? There's a lot of things to know. That's why you got to be taking excellent notes. It's just a lot of information, but you know, we take it one piece at a time. And hopefully, this was a nice little uh, piece of information. You're like, okay, yep, that was useful. And if that was the case, please consider smashing that like button. That would definitely help me out. And please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, it uh, would definitely help me out. Been on YouTube for a long time. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos all there for you. Okay, my mission really is to teach math in a clear and understandable uh, way and keep people excited about the topic. Because uh, I've just encountered so many people with this in math anxiety. I hate math. I can't do math. Uh, you know, and that really tears at your self confidence, your self image. Believe me, I don't care where you're at. Even if you're struggling, family, it doesn't make a difference. You can do this, all right? But it's a process, and you got to work at it, and you need a mentor, right? Someone to help you out, and uh, hopefully that will be me, okay? Again, if you want my best help, just check out those links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.